Scuba Chris here. I find using local baits very productive for local species here in Hawaii. The pungent smell and scent of opihis attracts all sorts of local reef fish. Collecting opihi kills more fishermen in the state of Hawaii than sharks every year. The reason? Opihi pickers often turn their backs to the open ocean while the waves slam them often face first into the reef knocking them out. So you have to be very careful when picking your own opihis. Be safe out there, okay? How much your old market? Aloha YouTubers, this is Kuba Chris. I'm at home and I'm getting ready for some fishing and I needed some secret bait. Well, in Hawaii, it's not that secret. It's a good bait, but it costs like $15 to, for, a, for a pound now just to buy it. It's an endemic type of limpet. Endemic means found only here in Hawaii and nowhere else in the world, all right? So, um, went to Tamashiro Market, bought a pound, well, three quarters of a pound because I just don't have the time to go out on the rocks and get it myself. All right, so it goes for $14.50 a pound to sell for. I bought three quarters of a pound for $11. There you go, right there. Oh, it smells so good, look at that. You gotta, you have to know the flavor. The flavor is great. Um, you can eat this cooked, but it's better eating it raw. Now in the state of Hawaii here, uh, the, the, the minimum size is, the shell has to be one and a quarter inches, right? Now you can use your fingers, to get them out. Um, I prefer using the spoon because I don't want to damage the meat if possible. See that? That's the foot. Now this is yellow. That's a yellow foot. Okay, now there's a um, couple species here in Hawaii. Now, this one here is Yellowfoot. Uh, scientific name is Solana, Solana to Olympics. So you got, so, uh, this is Solana sandwichiness. Yellowfoot, you can see that the foot there is yellow. So that is the Yellowfoot. Now you're gonna have the uh, creamy colored foot. That's gonna be Exorata. Exorata is a uh, little bit thinner shells, more black lives in deep water whereas this one lives up in the tidal zone the surf zone just past where the surface up in the air all right and then down in deeper water usually underneath ledges under boulders where the big eels are usually about yeah i would say six to ten twelve feet of water are the big boys the telcosos they just get up to like four and a half inches around they're big but they're tough to eat these yellowfoots are the most popular size if you go to the luau's here, like uh, Jermaine's luau, they, they do have these out for the uh, tourists, but it's an acquired taste. Oh, that is so good. Woohoo, so good. I haven't had this in a while. Back before man became um, a populace on this planet, over 100,000 years ago, there was another species called Melanostoma. It's in our fossil records. I find them going on in the white coral flats. It's a biconical shape, like a Chinaman's hat, like Chinaman's hat in Kaneohe Bay, the island. But it comes up like a pyramid. That one must have had a lot of meat, but it's predominant in the fossil record, but it's no longer being found. So why spend so much time buying bait? Well, um, it's fun going out and getting it, but I waste oh, half a day or full day. I'd rather spend the 10, 12 dollars and go get uh, less a pound or less than what I need. Yeah, plus they're very tasty, right? So um, the main reason I get this is because the two fish I love to target. It's Mu, which is emperor fish, and Moi, which is threadfin. That's the fish for Hawaiian royalty. Those are the ones I, this is my secret bait for that, and it's not that secret. I mean, a lot of people know it, just they, they just think it's easier just buying shrimp and frozen squid at the market. You know, so when, right now I'm gonna shuck them. I just, I can use my thumb, but that kind of screws up the meat. It makes the meat softer by kind of like pounding it. You don't want to do that. I use this, the back end of a spoon here. I just scoop the meat out. And then what I do is I put them in bags, you know, got them labels yellow foot. That way um, nobody should touch it. And since I have a holly wife, which is Caucasian, 
There's no problem. She's not gonna touch it. Now, heaven forbid, if I married a local girl, if I had bought this to go fishing, I wouldn't be getting anything the next day. I'll tell you that. Check this out. Locally here, that is what we call yellow gold, true yellow gold. I mean, stuff like that is so tasty. It's a shame to use it for fishing, but hell, one day at the end of the day, if I don't get any fish, it doesn't go to waste. Okay, this is one of the ways you can tell the difference. This is the yellow foot. Um, the yellow foot, it has the shells much more coarser. The um, gray foot, um, it, it, the shell is more of biconical, see, it's more of a higher shape. Whereas the, this one here, the sandwichiness, is a flatter shape. So this is sandwichiness, this is exorata. Both species are found here in Hawaii, okay? And that's the way you can tell the difference, the color of the animal and the uh, morphology of the shell. And that was, that's what three quarters of a pound of uh, opihis look like, shell-wise.